Greetings, people of Earth, and welcome back to Pokémon Dream Teams! Today's team is called... The Legend of Zygarde. For this team, I've taken six iconic creatures from the Legend of Zelda franchise and chosen a Pokémon to represent each one of them. Wow, that intro was really short. I guess, let's get going. The Armos are a race of temple guardians who are meant to protect the treasures that lie in wait in their territory. If they go unprovoked, then they just stand still, leading many to believe that they're just lifeless statues. You know who else is a living creature who guards a temple but is often mistaken for a statue? Richard Simmons! No, no, that's wrong, it's Darmanitan. This guy has the sheer force ability and is holding onto a life orb. For attacks, he's got Flare Blitz, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and U-Turn. The Deku are a race of plant people. They come in many varieties, from scrubs to butlers to wise giant oaks. Is that an oak? I don't really know. And if you're looking for a living tree, well, you've got a few to choose from here, but Shift Tree has the best fit in terms of the rest of the team. And I get to make a wicked joke. No one's born a wicked. That's good enough. Shift Tree is holding a life orb and has the chlorophyll ability, though I highly doubt I'll be able to use it. Then it'll attack with Defog, Knock Off, Sucker Punch, and Leaf Storm. The Poe are ghosts. Pick a ghost type. I went with Mega Baynette on this one. She'll have Frisk before the transformation and Prankster after. Then she'll come in with Taunt, Thunder Wave, Destiny Bond, and Shadow Sneak. The Dodongo is a staple boss monster of the franchise. It's a lizard-like creature, and while its form changes slightly from game to game, for the most part it resembles a Triceratops, leading us to Agron in shiny form because reasons. He's holding a Life Orb and has the Rock Head ability, and will attack with Head Smash, Heavy Slam, Auditomize, and Magnet Rise. The Gorons are a race of brawny, rock-eating, mountain-dwelling things who recently discovered the Morph Ball. After looking around, I figured that Hariyama probably had the closest resemblance. This beefy beefcake is holding an assault vest, has the Guts ability, and will attack with close combat, knockoff, bullet punch, and earthquake. Our last little Zelda creature to look at is the Zora, a race of human-like fish who can swim with ease and play some mean jazz music. There are, quite literally, plenty of fish in the Pokémon Sea, and even more water types that aren't fish. If you ask me though, Kingdra is the best fit. This guy is all about them crits, with a Scope Lens, Sniper, and Focus Energy. Plus it also attacks with Hydro Pump, Draco Meteor, and Agility. It's dangerous to go alone, so I'll take these six wonderful Pokémon. Let's battle! And yes, this is a Mega Bayonet. I thought Mega Bayonet had Prankster. Yeah, it does. You somehow managed to outspeed Prankster. I guess I'll just send in this guy. Deku! And you're paralyzed, so that was a free switch for me, which is nice. Oh wait. Okay. <laughs> I forgot that you had just used Ice Punch. You got Mock Punch and a crit, but that Hitmonchan is finally down. Oh my god, all the puns. All the puns in the chat. <laughs> You know what, I'm going to switch to Zora, which may not have been a very smart move. The Gengar Hourglass. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys, I've trained you too well. <laughs> thank you for missing. I'm, I'm sorry that you missed, but thank you for missing. <laughs> Ryo! I think I'm going to Shadow Sneak you, just so I can see if that's your Zoro arc, which it's not. So I know that... Your Zoroark comes in as your Medicham. Bullet Punch doesn't quite do as much as I thought it might. If I'd have done close combat, this would have been over. I was just trying to see how much Bullet Punch would do. I have a theory about that. Yeah, it Mega Evolved. That's why I didn't, I didn't want to... I have knockoff on this Hariyama. And I didn't want to use it because... I mean, it would be super effective, but it wouldn't do a lot of damage because it's holding a Mega Stone and Mega Stones can't be knocked off. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh no, things are happening to me. Can I get a shadow sneak in here, perhaps? Oh, dang. Here's, here's what's gonna, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I lose, I lose, I lose, you lose, and you lose. Everybody loses, except for the people who win. They generally do not lose, because that is how winning works. All right, next battle. You have a Gliscor. How dare you? No, <laughs> I'm not particularly a fan of Gliscor. 
Mostly because I just always forget it's not a poison type. For whatever reason, I just cannot get that through my head that Gliscor is not a poison type. <laughs> I'm going to Mega Evolve and taunt that Koopa. Uh, which you predicted with a Mental Herb, which is nice, but I'm just going to taunt it again. Or also taunt whatever happens to get brought in, and that would be Grim Reaper. Used Shadow Sneak. I also used Shadow Sneak. We're just generally being sneaky people. I am the Gorons! Do you have food for me? I want to eat rocks! Oh, what did I knock off of you? I didn't knock anything off of you. You have no... You didn't have an item on that. Interesting. And now I will pump you full of Hydro! Except for that's happening! It missed twice in a row! Ah. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is going to occur. And I'm going to destroy that Kraken with the last of the Zora's strength. The Dodongos! I'm going to do this thing. Ooh, nice. Nice, good damage onto that Blissey. Come on, heavy slam. Mm, ah, there goes the Toxic Orb. A Sucker Punch missed? Oh, you roosted? You. I'll just knock off that Toxic Orb. That's yeah, pretty pointless now, but at least it'll get some decent damage off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm assuming you're at full speed because you're a Gliscor, and most Gliscor are at full speed. We've got ourselves some Thai speed game right now. Assuming everything goes well, I can still win with two more close combats. Ass okay, you're gonna stall out the Toxic? Fine. <laughs> Come on, Goron! Do it for me! Y Yay! <laughs> Woo! Thank you very much, Secret Piplup. I know you've been waiting for a really long time. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next battle. Hello, Tholana. That I'm okay with. And you're going to switch, and I knew you were going to switch. That's why I used U-Turn. Ha ha ha! Plan I love it when plans go according to plan. And Knock Off will take you down. Wow, that did a ton of damage to Darmanitan. I'm, I'm in awe how much damage that did. Oh no, we've gone on to the food puns. Step away from the food puns. Oh wow, that was an unlucky switch in for me. And you used Crunch again? Thank you very much. Stoutland is down. Destiny Bond actually worked for once. Oh, Bubble Boy, that's a fun name. Yeah, I got that crit, 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 crit. I got, a, got that crit, 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 crit. <laughs> I'm not sure if uh, Zora and the Zelda universe are known for their marksmanship, but I made this one uh, a pretty good at getting critical hits. <laughs> oh, you must have Regenerator. Because I was about to ask, how do you have so much health back? But no, you're a Regenerator. Well, I've got something for you, Regenerators. And it's called da 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 deku One hit with knockoff. That is the power of Deku. I've got two courses of action, and I chose the wrong one. Uh, sorry, dude, but unless something happens, this Dodongo's gonna wreck the rest of your team. Crobat is definitely faster than Agra, so you have the chance to try to do something. Used Aerial Ace, wow. Head smash misses! You would get another chance to do something. Bro, I'm about to run out of head smashes. More aerial acing, more head smashing that'll hopefully hit this time. Yes, it does. Alrighty then. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for tuning in to this episode, I guess, of Pokemon Dream Teams. Running totals are at the bottom, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of this series, as well as all the other videos that Pokemon has to offer. Thank you for watching.